Hello everyone. I'm going to be working on a little, um, just a little round, I believe this is six inch, might be seven, I'll have to check. This is a cake mold. They come in like a pack of six, I want to say on Amazon. Um, I'm going to be doing a little beach scene on this today with just using some, um, my Better Boat uh, epoxy resin, that's what I'm using today. Okay. And... I'm going to be using a little bit of this white sand that um, is Ashland. And let's see. Oh, look and see. I'm pretty sure I got this at Michael's. Yes, this came from Michael's. And they come in, you can get white, you can get a darker sand, you can kind of get, you know, a couple of different um, things there in their craft department. So, anyway, we're going to start out with mixing some of this white sand here. With some resin. And I'm not measuring this out. I'm just kind of kind of going by um, just kind of going by feel here. And I'm going to Place this along here. Just a little bit to put in the bottom of this. Okay. And uh, for this project, I don't care about the bubbles in this little bottom part of resin. I'm going to be just covering it up anyway. But I like to put a little down here to kind of help it all glide and smooth over a little easier than it would otherwise okay I'm going to stir this just take a little crab stick here and stir my sand in and I actually want this sand to be a, a nice bright sand so I'm gonna put just a little dot of it says cream but that's pretty much a white color okay and this is just a, not an alcohol ink, it's just a normal white. Put three drops in there. I don't want it to be overpowering white. Just give it a little bit of, um, just give it a little boost of white here. Kind of looks like oatmeal at this point, <laughs> or cream of wheat maybe. But uh, yeah, so I just want it coated. I'm going to pour it in here along the edge mostly. Okay, I'm going to have it go all the way across. I want a thin layer all the way across here to the other edge, but I want most of it to stay at this end. Okay. And take a spoon and I'm just going to Take my white sand here and I'm just going to add a bit here. Okay, so I'm going to maybe prop this up just a bit with maybe just this little rubbery bowl, see if that's enough on this one side here. Just enough to kind of keep this sand going down that direction. Okay, so I am going to let this cure for a bit. Not too long because I don't want it to cure. This is, um, this side is up about an inch. This part is laying flat. I don't know if you can't really see the depth of that, but I definitely don't want it to cure folded in half like it's aiming to be a taco shell. Okay, so I'm just going to let it uh, just get a little thicker, and then I'll come back and we'll do the next step. See you then. Okay, we're back. This is not cured all the way, which is good because I don't really want it to be completely cured. But what I do want to do is add a few embellishments to my deeper part of the sand right here. Okay, so um, I don't know if you saw the freshwater fish paperweight that I did. 
uh, we used some of these little grass tufts in there. These are in the model train section. Um, I got them on Amazon. If you Google like model train accessories, um, this type of thing can come up. You can find all kinds of good things on there to use in resin, okay? Um, sticks that I've just picked up outside in my yard or on a walk. And then, if you have been doing resin very long, you probably do things similar to this. I have this box that um, we had a pie in, but I've kept it to keep all of my little go-to things for when I'm doing like a beach scene, okay? I have some little seashells in here, some sand dollars, starfish, and these look like just like little pebbles and rocks and things, okay? So I'm going to probably just find maybe one of these little starfish. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, a sand dollar and the starfish. And get this out of the way. And I've also have this that I used in my sea turtle um, that came from Pier One. We did it, the limbs and in the head with these crushed shells. But I might use a couple of these too just to kind of place. I don't want it too busy. But I do want it to start resembling, you know, a beachy thing. So I'm just going to place these kind of down in the resin because when this does start to cure, I do want it, um, I want this stuff to be in it when it's curing. Here's this little starfish. It might be kind of like down in there a bit. Okay, okay, so there's that. And we will come back with the next part when this is cured. See you then. This has been um, curing for just maybe a, a couple of hours now. And what I decided to do is come back and add a little bit of um, this darker natural colored sand just out here a bit. And before we do the next step, I want kind of a darker um, some of the darker sand to show through since this will definitely be um, kind of more of a wet sand look out here. Okay, so we're going to have some blues and things that are going to come in here through this, but I don't want this to be all just white sand, I decided. <laughs> So that was all. I just was going to let you know before we do the next step that I was oops, going to add a little bit of that. Okay. Thank you. I'll be back in a bit. I've mixed up some more resin here. So I'm going to pour a little bit in this one. About like so. Just kind of eyeing this here for the size of my little um, container, my mold. Not going to do too much. I don't want to fill this to the top. I just want to kind of start my layers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my just my teal. Um, it's been kind of a popular color for me lately of just my clear translucent dye. Okay. And I don't want too much, but maybe just maybe drops in there. Hopefully that's not too much already. Let me see. Stick here. It's pretty. I think that's probably going to be a good color. Okay, so I'm happy with this. It's kind of a sea glass aqua -y color. So I'm going to stir this up real quick. And let it sit there a second. Then I'm also going to use blue and navy of this thing, kind of a um, translucent dye. I'm going to try just two drops of that to start because 
This is a lot darker. I still want it to be translucent, so. Okay. Here's the blue. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the blue, the dark blue there. And I'm going to put it down here in this deep section. So I don't know if you can tell, the depths are different on each end, okay? This is a lot more shallow, this end, than this end. This is my deep section of the water. So what I'm gonna do also, is I went and I found my, my bag of polished gravel size pebbles. And I'm thinking I might need to add a couple of, <coughs> excuse me, of rocks in here. Just a couple. I need a much, I need a much bigger tray for all the stuff that I want to do to this. I'm gonna add a couple in here, a couple over here. I really want this to have some depth to it, and um, maybe a couple over here, maybe a rock over there, maybe back here. Let's see how that will do. And let's see, what else do I have? I also have some uh, sea glass. I got this at home in Arizona here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, and I think that's enough. I've got also some crushed glass, but if I use any of that, it's going to have to maybe go in the deeper end. I'm going to poke these down a little bit because I don't want them floating away. And my resin is not all the way hard yet, so it's a good time to keep working with it if you want to make changes like this or add something, especially these little lightweight things. Okay. Um, hello, guys. What do you think? Since we're kind of going all out, should we add just maybe a few of these um, brush glass? Some extra sparkle in here too. Oops, something, something went flying. Okay, so I think that better be all I add to this. It's looking pretty busy. Okay, so get those out of the way. I can move that out of the way. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start adding this blue to this deep end here. of my ocean. I don't want it to go out too far here. Okay, I'm going to blend it with some of my teal color. Now this time I might actually, just my little bowl here, I might kind of actually prop it up so that it's leaning this way. It's higher end on this way so that it doesn't come all the way up on my beach there. And I'm going to start this up here because it's going to slide down. I'm going to go over this blue just a little bit to help it kind of blend together. Okay? I don't want just a, a solid line of where the blue and the green meet. Okay. So that I'm not I'm not going to break up any bubbles. I'm going to just leave it. And uh, where are my things that I've added in here? Where they end up is where they're going to end up because you know it's kind of more ma natural that way anyway. So there we go. That is it for this layer, and I'll be back after this cures. We're back to do the next step on our little beach um, plate scene here. These are made, usually I just set them up as um, on a plate stand for just a decoration and they look pretty nice doing that. It's been a while since I've done a beach scene so I'm hoping that we can 
get this to turn out right with my waves and everything. I'm going to go ahead and put a layer in here. Let's see how this works. I'm going to save a little bit here at the bottom in case I in case I need just some clear resin. And I've mixed up some white for the rave, waves, and what I'm using is Larez Expressions in White Angel. I put a couple of drops of um, this kind of messy bottle, but my, of my casting craft, and I've also put some couple drops of my Mermaid Trash White Foam. Okay, I've kind of mixed it all together in there. Okay, so this has been sitting a few minutes. It's still pretty. It's still not very thick. Okay, so I might let it sit just maybe another couple minutes and see if that helps thicken it up because I don't want it just to start spreading out instantly. I want it to stay in a line. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to just stir it and I'll be back maybe in about five minutes. Okay, I let our white mixture here sit for probably about another five or six minutes and the side of it's getting kind of warm. It's not super thick, but it's a lot thicker than it was. I don't know if you can see it, how it's coming off the spoon there. And it's hard to say with each individual um, how long to let it sit because different resins have different amount of work times and part of it can also depend on the temperature of your room of um, you know where you're doing your work so um, I would just say maybe try pouring it when it's not too thin and you know kind of go from there trial by trial and error really so I'm hoping with this cutoff bottle here they're really workable so I'm trying to try to do a really small pour line and just see if I can start up here a bit See how I can do this. Okay. Let me get this, get this napkin here. And I wouldn't mind having even a little smaller line, kind of going this way, thinner. I really don't want this all blobbed at one end but not at the other. It's gonna go right over my starfish, or my sand dollar there. I'm gonna blow this out going that way. Okay. And let's just do two lines and we'll see what happens so far. Make sure we've got this kind of going the right way. I'm just using my normal heat gun on high. Turn the power on first to it. I like to kind of go over it, warm it up a bit first. So that it's warm enough to spread out. When it warms up, then, I, then you can kind of move, move it around there. Get some cells. Don't want to keep the heat on there too long. As you can see, with that combination of the Larez Angel White and the Cast and Craft and my little bit of uh, white foam from Mermaid Trash, I actually got some nice waves and some nice cells going on over there. I might have to spend a little more time over here on these sides some, and oh, around my rocks. So I'm going to try that real quick. Okay. 
that it kind of blew my waves kind of in, which that's not really what I wanted to do, but I was trying to get that out of there. So sometimes you can kind of help make it kind of go the direction you want it to go. You know, give it a little help there. It's going to kind of move itself around. These end things here, I just got too much. So that's what happened here. Okay, but I'm happy with these cells here. Okay, so I'm going to just let this cure just the way it is. And um, we've still got about maybe a sixteenth or maybe about an eighth of an inch left to the fill line here. So we can decide if we want to come back and do another layer. What do you think so far, huh? Okay, well, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, today we're just gonna run it over with, um, put a layer of clear and try to do a couple more waves and then we're gonna be done. I am going to, let's see, that might be, this might be okay. I'm gonna put a little bit in here so I'm going to mix my cast and craft for my waves in here. And I'm only putting about 20 mLs or so in this one. Uh, I think that would be, I don't know, maybe just a tad bit more. And I'm going to just put the clear resin over this. Don't really, really need a whole lot, just enough for it to cover everything so that the waves can come through. Since I didn't do a dry, sandy beach area, um, which I kind of thought about keeping this part dry, you know, um, just covered enough with resin to keep it in place, but instead, since I'm kind of working with such a small little tray here, or cake pan size, like six inch, I believe, I decided just to go ahead and be able to use the whole thing. So I'm going to come back here and let that sit for a second while I take this and I'm just going to use my casting craft a couple drops, maybe, um, maybe a couple squirts I guess. <laughs> and then I'm going to add to this a couple of drops of my Mermaid Trash Foam White. I'm not going to add the, the um, Snow White this time from uh, Lorez, even though it works great, but I'm going to try it just with these two things. Let's see if this is enough. It doesn't need to really be white, white, in my opinion. I mean, it doesn't need to be like completely thick white, but it looks like that's pretty good consistency really. Um, it's a little thin right now so I'm going to let it sit for about maybe, I don't know, a few minutes and uh, I'll stir it up again and see. I want it to be just a little thicker than that so I'll be back when that part's done. This has been sitting for just a couple minutes um, so we're going to go ahead and give it a try. And I think what we're going to do is start maybe over here. Over here. Okay. And use the heat gun here to kind of warm it up before we spread it out. So, 
I'm going to just take my craft stick here and just kind of help it along the way here. Around the rocks, over the rocks. Kind of like foam would really do on an ocean wave, you know? Just kind of goes along. Now, as you can see, we've gotten some really good cells in here for our waves and um, some little bit of ocean wave mist. This will kind of all change too as it starts to cure more. And um, you can still see our starfish down there. So it kind of looks maybe like a little bit of a tide pool. If we had some sea anemones. I think we're gonna leave it at that and we're gonna let it cure. And uh, I don't think I'm gonna go over it again with the heat gun. I think that it doesn't really need that. I can kind of maybe pull some of the, some of our ocean mist up here, maybe. Kind of spread it out this way. I just don't want to disturb all the cells. But, okay. There we go. I'll be really interested to see how this kind of all turns out when we demold it. And All right. I'll see you. Um, tomorrow when this is all cured for demolding. Hello everyone. Okay, I'm back to demold our little ocean plaque that we made here. Um, I think it is all cured and ready to demold. And since this is the front, um, <laughs> there's not going to be too much of a surprise, but at least we can see what it's like outside of the mold and on the little plate stand here. There we go. What do you think? The colors are really pretty. You can see the darker blue up here and you can see kind of the turquoise behind um, the waves and the white sand and just kind of the foam, um, kind of a foam frothy look down here. And yeah, what do you think? It's pretty. Pretty simple to do really. And then I buy these um, and gosh, they come in a box of like, I don't know, maybe 20, 25 on Amazon. Pretty sure it was Amazon, maybe eBay, but I'll look if anybody's interested in the link to these, but you can do all kinds of things with them. It's kind of a good size to set up here. Let me take it off of here. Here it is. What do you think? The colors turned out really pretty. You see how the dark blue kind of fades into the turquoise and then down into the clear. Yep, and we got the um, cells that were caused from the um, from the cast and craft and the mermaid trash white foam that we added. And here's the back with all the white sand that we started out with. Anyway, I think it turned out really cute. Or really pretty. Some of the shells that we did and those little tufts of grass. Our starfish kind of got um, covered up there. I believe we had a sand dollar in there too somewhere. <laughs> but anyway, yep, so next time I might have to be a little more careful where I place things or where I put my waves, but they kind of did their own thing. But I think it turned out pretty. Anyway, let me know what you think. Thanks everyone. See you next time.